Welcome, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Chalk Magic, a show all about making your drawings really magical. Here to get things started, the one, the only, Master Blaster who makes magic faster, the great Shades Uni. show you some truly magical techniques that will take your drawings to the next level and make them really magical. All you need is your box of pastels to begin. Oh, oh, oh. No, sorry. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, no. No, that's not right either. Uh, definitely not. Well, let's see what's wrong. I guess I'll have to use the magic words. Moortrachés. That's Mr. Shays, but aren't we backwards? Yes! <laughs> Finally. So, let's get back to the art room with our chalk pastels so we can start our drawing. Okay, welcome to Chalk Magic. I've uh, been using some of these techniques for years and years. In fact, if you're a fan of uh, Mr. Shea's Art Room channel, <laughs> chances are you may have seen some of these or all of these um, in um, our videos that we've been making. But I thought I'd group them all together because they're fabulous and they can really take your art up to the next level. And we're going to move fast so it doesn't get boring. Tools of the trade are uh, some black paper. Got nice black paper. I've got my pastel set um, that uh, we've been using on and on over and over again. Uh, another few things that you might want to have are uh, a kneaded rubber eraser and a white colored pencil. Doesn't matter what brand you've got. And then a little piece of scrap paper to uh, color some chalk dust on. So let's do the first one. I love this one. I just love making bubbles in chalk pastel. So here I am drawing some circles using my white colored pencil. Uh, a couple of interlocking one, uh, ones there. Trying to imagine a group of bubbles floating around in my room here and I'm drawing them in all different shapes and sizes as they float along. So I'm going to pick out a color to be the highlight color. That's the top reflective surface of each bubble. I'm trying to treat each bubble the same and no matter how big or small they are. And after I get that highlight in, I'll take my finger and carefully burnish and polish that top highlight in there. Oh, and the magic's starting to happen already. I'm gonna use another color that's contrasting for the bottom part of my bubbles and do the same thing. And here I'm gonna be rubbing those around with my fingertip as well, trying to create a kind of a nice creamy smooth surface. So when you get your white uh, highlight out with your white pastel. Make sure that you treat each bubble the same no matter how big or small it is. And try to imagine lots of different light sources that are reflecting off all your different bubbles as they float around the room. Okay, next, clouds are a great favorite of mine. So I've got my white chalk and I've got it turned on its side and as I scrub it around then I'm going to be bringing back um, the chalk not on the edge but inside and trying to polish that back inside after I've scrubbed that line. Let's make another layer doing the same thing and taking my finger I'm going to polish that back inside. Um, wow and then trying to pull some of the chalk to the right and left to kind of simulate a wind maybe. I've got some blue on my fingertip and a little bit of blue I'm going to introduce into the chalk and move that around and there you go. Chalk clouds are fantastic. For this lightning it's kind of neat to imagine lightning as a tree branch maybe and actually I, I kind of do it the same way except when you get to the tip of the lightning try to just barely touch the tip of your paper and um, it's almost a combination of maybe veins and 
uh, tree branches. Uh, and once again, the unique thing about chalk is that you can introduce some of that great blurring and blending and touching on some nice little places to make it appear to be glowing. So when you do liquids, um, it's kind of fun. I think this is my favorite of all, where you get to draw these kind of random shapes. Imagine that you've spilled something out on your counter, or maybe pop or, or maple syrup or whatever. Um, and uh, so the colors that you pick would kind of uh, lend itself to like what the liquid is. So mine kind of has a watery look. So I've got a little purple on the end of my finger. I'm going to take one side of each one of my uh, liquid blobs there and try to make it, uh, oops, goofed up there with the blue, that's okay, and um, make a, a color wash on one side of each of my globby great big shapes there and um, blending with my fingertip. That's that magic of chalk pastel. So I'm going to clean up here a little bit with my um, kneaded eraser and getting my um, white uh, pastel out, I'm going to start thinking about where the highlights are on my objects. So if I just come across that edge right there and do a graceful blend, I'm going to highlight the right hand side of each one of my um, little blobs of liquid, whatever I've decided that they are, water I guess, and uh, treating them the same, just kind of the way we did our bubbles, but it's a little more abstract. And after I get that in place, now it's time for the mighty hard-edged white. And it really comes to light as soon as you put that white hard reflection on the side of each one of those shapes. Just only, um, just the pastel is just such a marvelous uh, medium to do things like that. Okay, next up we have uh, outer space, and what I've done is cut a hole in a piece of paper, try to make it as round as you possibly can, and that's going to be my stencil. So into my colored chalk I go, I'm going to pick some cool colors for my planet. It doesn't have to be any certain color at all, just kind of picking something that looks like fun. Load up some, as much chalk dust as you possibly can and shake it off a little bit before you set it back down on your black paper. And then rubbing with your finger, rub in only just one direction straight over and when you do, voila! <laughs> Unbelievable! Use your white chalk just to make some tiny, tiny, tiny uh, stars way out there. Every once in a while make a big one and every once in a while if you want to you can do this neat little technique of a shiny star uh, and do maybe more than one or you know sometimes I even put in a couple of uh, different colored stars. Well there you have it. I hope you picked up some good techniques along the way today and remember no matter where you go no matter what you do you've got something to be proud of. You're an artist Always remember that, and we'll see you back here next time in Mr. Shea's Art Room.